Hello, everybody. Give my hand. Hello. This is Ryan, Tales of Valhalla, and we are about to get started with this live stream. I could be having a technical difficulty or two, so I'm just going to take a quick side by side. Like that. What I'm doing right now currently is I'm trying to get this live stream on my phone so I make sure everything is playing correctly. For all one of you watching, besides me, if you could just comment in the chat room to let me know that the audio is okay, is my voice talking over the music, or if the music needs to be turned down, I would appreciate that because, yeah, my phone... My phone has having a hard time loading into the live stream. I don't know why. It's just like that. But um, yeah, it's just it's not loading into the live stream. I don't know why. Never had that problem before. Okay, but I'm still gonna try to get started. Out it. I might just turn the music down just a little bit just to make sure that. I am not. Or that my music is not going to be louder than me. And if the music needs to be turned up, I'll ask occasionally. Just in case, if you guys think it does need to. But I guess we'll just get started then with this. Okay, so what you see here is a huge uh, battlefield castle area set. You can't really see. Like right here, this is a big tower. Right now, I I have my camera pointed to the back part of this uh, castle, and you see the army all alongside the front of the castle here. And we're gonna have Mimring basically fire upon this part of the wall, which is already broken in pieces because we're just gonna have it scatter out. And so for the shot that I'm going to make is that they're going to make a fireball and memory just going to basically bust open this uh, castle wall and totally confuse the heck out of everybody defending this castle here. So that's what we're going to do. And like I said, my name is Ryan, and this uh, stop-motion work is for a show called Tales of Valhalla, The Aftermath Chronicles, and I've been currently doing like the last uh, week and a half, really, I've been working on this whole set area for um, Season 2, and uh, this whole battle is just basically uh, backstory information and this shot that I'm doing will actually probably more than likely be the first shot you're gonna see in season two. <clears throat> and let's see here, can we see? Not so much. I'm gonna try and tilt this game up a little bit. a little bit so you can still see some memory right here the wall right here camera right here and so basically I'm going to animate this area and and I really hope Whoever's watching can hear me, because like I said, I can't. I'm, I'm trying to get the live stream on my phone, and for some reason, not lo reason it's not loading correctly. So hopefully, this live stream, like people can actually see this live stream, and everything turns out okay. Because I'll be really upset if this live stream isn't being even being uploaded online. The live stream, I mean, it looks okay. Everything looks okay except for the fact that. Um, my phone isn't uploading it. So, um, like I said, if anybody who is watching can tell me if the audio levels uh, sound okay, 
um, if my voice sounds okay, if the, if the music isn't too loud or too low, I would appreciate that. If you could, if you could write to me in the chat room, that would be great. <clears throat> but as far as I know, we should be good to get started, so... Hey, let me figure out... Okay, and this is... This is a very serious shot that is being set up here. Let's see what I got. Okay. So I have already got the lighting done. Um... The lighting correct for this shot. I've got this pieces of wall set up that are going to break apart and scatter from the fireball explosion. I've got everything white balanced for my camera. Okay, I hot monsters. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you that I'm saying the audio sounds good. How are you doing today, I hunt monsters? <clears throat> okay. Oh. It's good to know I have some people watching my back since, like I said, my phone is not... <laughs> it's just, it keeps on loading. I have no idea what's going on with this phone. That It's just like, at least the chat's appearing, so that that's good news. So, for anybody who is watching, feel free to comment and ask about this set, um, anything about animating, how I'm doing the stop motion animation, or anything like that, that is fine. Right now, I'm just going to start by taking like 20 or so photos, just to keep this still. So, like I said, this particular battle scene, or this, this battle location with this castle and stuff, will be in the first episode of Season 2. And <laughs> oh, you just woke up by Hunt Monsters? Ah, oh. sorry to wake you up. It is, I mean, it is noon here. I don't know what time it is where you live, but uh, I was actually planning to start this live stream about an hour or two earlier, but uh, this morning uh, I was running late, so now just getting started with it. And when I am when I am done, because this this whole animation shouldn't take too long. It's a very fast, pretty fast sequence to where the pieces of wall are just going to break apart. Then I'll focus on Mimring in the back there, and then that's pretty much the shot. Um, this whole battle uh, area, the what I've been doing with animating all these figures and stuff, um, is really just uh, shots for maybe like ten to two seconds some even one second long of just quick uh, battle sequences and, and surprising shots I had. Um, last week, if, uh, you, if anyone follows my Instagram, um, I showed that uh, Finn the Viking Champion, who's like guarding, guarding the front area of this castle, um, knocks a Grimnik in the, in the face and completely out of, out of the frame. Um, so that was kind of a cool shot. Um, and I still have, eventually, I'm going to have, uh, uh, for those of who are familiar with Sir Denric, um, eventually he's going to come out of the castle where this whole area is going to break apart and face a bunch of orcs and other bad guys like Krug and, and such uh, there as well. With, and that will be Sir Denric and his knights that will come running down the steps, basically, and into, into this area. <clears throat> so, ah, I have mushrooms. That's a good question. See, yeah. any questions are great questions. Um, yeah, the music I'm using, I hunt monsters. Um, if you, I don't know if you're familiar on YouTube with a film riot, um, Ryan Connolly. He's he's a filmmaker uh, in Texas, and he's got a great uh, channel called Film Riot, to where he basically um, teaches people the art of filmmaking and such, and he has his own uh, production company, and he sells a lot of things online through this production company. And one of them is um, royalty-free music, so I can use this music for anything, for this show, for uh, for my live streams or anything. It's all completely royalty-free, and um, I bought this 
on like uh, Black Friday. He has sales occasionally throughout the year, and I got I got this whole music pack for a pretty good deal a couple years ago. And there's more additional music on the website. I think um, his production page is uh, Triune. Uh, store.com or tryingfilms.com or something like that. that. That's where you find the music. It does cost a bit of money, but um, you can use it if you're as, for a filmmaker. You can use it for anything, and you won't get sued uh, by the people who made it because you, you've already paid for it, and it's uh, in in every way free, other than just uh, you can't resell the music as it is again. But you can use it for your work and not have to worry about getting um, sued or anything like that. So. It's always good to find uh, royalty-free music, uh, and good like that. <clears throat> so that, that's a long-winded explanation about the Iron Monsters, but that's that's basically it. Okay, so let me hear, see here. Okay, so let's continue with the. I'm just gonna double check real quick or something. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, real good question. I hunt monsters. Um, any more from anyone else watching, or I hunt monsters yourself? You got anything else uh, to ask? Um, feel free. I'll be looking at the chat uh, whenever I get a chance. But let's get started with this. Um, I gotta start thinking about this shot. Okay. So I have pieces of wall here already out, and what's gonna end up happening is before we even see the frame. Uh, for, for, for this uh, shot, it's just going to be starting uh, in basically a, a black um, screen um, with, with a character of doing a voiceover introducing uh, a sneak back into the series. And then you'll see a fireball explosion, and then you'll see these pieces scattering. So all I have to worry about is these pieces coming down and scattering. Let's see how we can do this. Okay. It's going to start... Um, the way I create very fast motion is things start kind of slow, then fast, so and then slow again. Moving things, so I'm just going to move things just a little bit. And to see here, you got some uh, Omnicron snipers that are going to be casualties of this blast all over the field in front and the back. And yeah, I'm also going to have a Sentinel Jandar um, who will be under the rubble, but will come back up and be like, ah, I'm still strong uh, from from all this. So. Let's see, let's move this out. <clears throat> I'm just gonna for some time. I'll just I'll just set this down. Now, the stuff in front really isn't gonna matter much. Well just a bit. That's there. Okay. There we put this here. Start moving this piece of wall. So yeah, this is the reason why I haven't been doing live streams in the last few weeks ever since uh, me talking with Jeremy with the pronunciation videos because I've been animating a lot and I really haven't had time to uh, to do any live streams just because I'm like powering through the animating. This, this is one of uh, the biggest sets for season two to be animated with and the thing is this, this particular scene probably is only gonna be like 30 or 60 seconds worth of the that that particular episode so I mean it's not gonna be much but the, the content is just like I have over 80 figures on this uh, on this particular battlefield so almost a hundred figures here um, that are just gonna duke it out and I've already had like I mean these all these figures have been reset and you see Zedian guards here you see some uh, uh, Sentinels of Utgar, I think, is what they're called. Um, and then you have an orc army that's kind of out of the shot as well over there. Um, so you got a few dozen or so orcs, so you got Krug. Um, so, huge uh, army that, that is uh, attacking this castle area. Okay, so let's check this. That. So, 
at that picture. Now, let's get a little bit faster. Because basically the foundations of the squall are just gonna come apart. And let's see here. The cool thing is, what the camera doesn't see, doesn't know, so I'm just gonna have make it look like this thing's leaning um, from thin air, but it's like it's it's going backwards, sprouting backwards, but you can't see the tree behind it, so you don't even know it's being supported. And I might take uh, here, hold on. Let me lift this up a little bit too. And last week, it's like thinking ahead. What I did last week is I had this whole board turned around to the front of, of the table here, and I already got another shot of stuff coming out from front a little bit, finishing uh, the explosion part that, that the memory explodes. So all I gotta do is really the beginning part and then I can I can find a way to edit around everything. Okay, but this one's gonna need to come down so this piece of wall and then be over here, I think, if I remember correctly. Alright, so let's see here, take a look. Yeah, okay. Couple shots like that, and then this wall is coming down. Let's see here. Let's see what's the best way to do this. So I don't want it to go down all the way completely yet, but I need to find a way to support it halfway. And hopefully, not topple down. This stuff moves out. So even broken hair skin. Because what's filling the whole frame now is just these two things actually. So, hold on. So I think that's good. Oh, and you can start seeing good old memory over there. Okay, now what's next is this is going to come down. This will start coming down. And we can see this now. Let's see if I need this. Oops. Oopsies. Good. Okay, gotta think about it a second. Might have to redo everything over again. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Because I've got to move this and this. Is, is when, when you're moving <clears throat> dozens of pieces, sometimes you miss one, especially when you're trying to pay attention to the live stream as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's just move you down a bit. Let's 
good. Oh yeah, I see the dragon in the background too. Oh, it's so nice. And then just move this like so. See, I've taken previous photos of the same type of shot that I'm attempting to do at a different angle. Okay, yeah, yeah, it works out. But I had a piece of something right here. So let's just do that. Put that on top, okay. This person needs to smash by this. This guy needs just flying over here. It's not in the shot. Just the bed there for a second. And this type of shot, when you've already done a similar shot at another angle um, you got to make sure people uh, you got to make sure things are as accurate as possible when you're doing the same shot just in a different direction so I think that all looks fine right now Sniper crushed. You start dragging out here. this explosion I'm going to start focusing in on because right now my focus on my lens is right here and that's where the, the depth of field is but uh, I'm going to focus out to memoring over there to make it look like aha okay he's the one that caused the explosion here Good. Good. So, boom. Okay, cool. Now, this. Again, because I need to see, because the Sentinel Jandar right here, that's underneath there, 
Um, he was positioned in a certain way. Oh, okay. I gotta have him like that. He's actually his feet's gonna be sticking out right here. And then his head will be here. Okay. I can do something about that. Alright, as long as now I know what I'm doing. That part of the shot. Sorry, this is what happens and I'm trying to think about the shot and I don't I don't talk. It's hard for me to think and talk at the same time. I don't mean that as a pun. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me see. Now I know later on, maybe next, in the next week or two, I actually have another battlefield with just as many figures on on the board. Basically, it's going to be a little bit smaller and just going to be like flat land. Um, but there'll be a pretty cool shot for that uh, scene as well that I might live stream with stop motion for that too. Everywhere. All right. On. A little bit more. Thing. Anybody thinking about doing any stop motion animation when it comes to Aeroscape stuff? It's always good if, I mean, if you're just animating from one spot and location and it's just one time around, okay, fine. But when you're doing multiple angles of the same uh, shot, the same, the same action sequence, always take pictures of like what you've done before so you can match it up uh, later 
like when you're when you're doing something when you're doing something later because you're not going to remember exactly how you had it before. Okay, so that stuff moved, and now you. You end up wash inside here, actually. Okay, for those of you who have just come on to this live stream or watching this on YouTube, uh, this is animation for Tales of the How the Anthem Chronicles, Seasons 2 and 3, although this particular scene is Season 2, and we have a whole big castle battlefield type situation. And, um, in the front, this castle actually has a, a likeness of like Helm's Deep from Lord of the Rings, just because I like that movie, and so I wanted to create a, a, a castle battlefield like that and so just like Lord of the Rings um, there was that there's an explosion in this wall and currently animating said explosion and debris flying everywhere bodies flying everywhere um, and but in this particular case it's not a bomb it's memoring that's doing the explosion because memoring is awesome like that if you're familiar with your escape at all he's got a fireball blast that's I mean it is probably stretching the limits of the game, uh, the game rules a bit, but uh, at creative liberties, I can do it. <laughs> All right, so. Take the picture. That's it's terrible, Mike. It's funny, I can get the chat room, but it's like my phone cannot get the video from the live stream. I, I, I have no idea what's going on. I think it might be just the Twitch phone app itself. It's just not that great. I don't know, I'll probably have to write the question. Hey, what's up? You know, because my internet's fine. My internet should be able to internet processing this live stream so it should be fine with my phone. No idea. No idea. Okay. Let's run through the okay. So next I'm gonna drag this just a little bit more. This is gonna come to a stop, so I don't have to worry about that. So the ladder. Which didn't move much anyway. Okay. And now Turn you so have you just one more turn
good enough. And all at the same time now, I'm starting to focus in a little bit to focus on memoring in the background of the shot. <clears throat> Oh, what do you do? I need to take a picture of, uh, because I got an Instagram account, so I'm going to take a picture of this. Sorry, people. I'm taking Instagram photos at the current camera. Okay, yeah, really boring stuff. Cause... No, I'm not looking at that. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Get back to what we were doing. All right, so just reviewing what I've done so far. Boom, pieces fly out everywhere. Cool. Now this, I don't think I've moved much, I'm just probably move a little bit, but this will have to come to where, oh, it's already on his back, okay, cool. But I want to move him to where you can see, even though the shot's probably not the same as um, what I took a picture, but um, it's like, for this, see the Sentinel Jandar here? Um, originally, I had this thing straight across and, and the central jammer completely underneath, but I need to, in order for the lens to see like just a piece of him, I need to angle it over so we can at least see part of his wing, um, his base a little bit, just to show that he is under, under here and he's like effectively crushed underneath him. This up. I think that looks good. Take the picture. Everything that we Time to 
bit. That just a little bit. to look again see how this particular was on top of him. So <sighs> I think piece of piece of the piece of, the piece of music we're playing at this moment that's being played, that's something that I that's a piece of music I currently got from trying the trying store. I had monsters. It was like two bucks. It had like a special special sale last weekend, and so for like one particular hour during the day, they had like say, okay, you can buy for two bucks this number of items. And one of them was this piece of music. So I'm like, for sure. I'll, I'll, I mean, I wasn't planning on planning purchasing anything because I don't currently have money, but I got two bucks, so I got this music out of out of the deal which is a, and a couple other things a couple other digital download things too which is pretty nice but the music the song itself is worth two dollars so, okay you are finally gone you're just here you're just here everything's just settling down it. Okay, so now this just needs to come on here. Get up out of that guy. I hunt monsters. I think he messaged me for something. Hold on one second. Okay, and then just focus on a little bit here. Alright, check that. And then I hunt monsters. I'll get to your comment in one second.
Perfect. Okay, let me see what I know Monsters is telling me. It's asking me uh, would I be interested in getting some free music? Yes! Absolutely. Um, best way I have Monsters to uh, communicate with me, um, you could either send a message via the Tales of a How YouTube page, um, or even on the YouTube page, my uh, in the information part of the Tales of How YouTube page, my email is right there, conductorproductionswork at gmail.com. Uh, anybody wants to email me and offer their services, by all means, contact me. I, I, in my opinion, the more people in the production, the merrier it is and the better, the better it's going to be. So I have, I have no problem with that. Give them my contact information, have them. Uh, look at the you know the series, see what type of you know un universe they're getting into, and yeah, we'll we'll start something by all means. <clears throat> all for that. That's looking good. Okay, so now we're coming to a close here. Because everything's settled down a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to give things just a little more of a small nudge. Just a small nudge. The one thing also when it comes to animating, um, let's say you're animating a, a, a particular shot that's like has some fast moving objects, whether it be a figure throwing a punch or um, or objects moving or something, it's good to move them, um, like say, in a very fast way. So a greater distance when you're starting, or actually a small distance when you're starting, then a greater distance in the middle and at the end, um, do very small movements with the photos. And that just for me, it provides the best uh, fluid motion for an object moving fast and then slowing down uh, gradually from, from the fast movement. So, I think that's good for these. Not everything can just settle down. Okay, you're asking me another question. Do you know if this chat allows links? Um, I don't know, but like I said, if you want to, I have mantras. If you want to send me links or, or some type of message when it comes to that, because um, I'm not, I'm connected to my chat on my phone, not my uh, computer. Just send me an email, conductorproductionswork at gmail.com, and you can find that email on the Tales of a How YouTube page as well. Um, if, if you need to find it, so, um, so that that's that's the best way to send me information because if if it's on this chat, I might end up losing it <laughs> if you if you post it there. Although just for I mean, if you want people to, you know, uh, see your 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 friends' work, or whatever, and you can you can you can post it on the chat. I have a problem with that. <clears throat> But as for me, like collecting the information, I don't know if I'll be able to. So, but you email it to me, I'll I'll get I'll get to it for sure. Just moving that just a little bit, the last thing I move, and now 
that was the hard part. That was the most difficult part when it comes to the shot. Now, all I have to do is um, get the focus in on memory. And the shot will be done. pictures all right and now I'm just gonna move because memorying is gonna roar so slow Concept when moving a figure fast, you want to move them at a greater space at the beginning and then just to slow them down at the end. Just space them out and nudge to make it look like they're slowing down. Okay, so Memoring did his roar, and then that's the end of the shot. And so, almost the end of this uh, live stream. So, I Hunt Monsters, if you have uh, anything to ask me, uh, by all means go ahead, but we are going to be ending this pretty quick. Pretty quick live stream. I thought this was good. this was gonna take longer. All the you know, all the complications that I've been having with my phone and everything. I thought this was gonna take a little bit longer than what it was, but it looks good. And before I get off with you guys, I'll show you. We're gonna jump on my computer real quick, and I'm gonna show you the whole uh, digital layout of this castle battlefield. Just so you can see the whole thing digitally. Okay, so I'm just going to review what I just animated, or how to put it. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. So let's see. back together, boom, 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 okay. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. It'll do. And it, like I said, you can't, you guys can't really see what I'm looking at right now, but in the shot, just all wall pieces are breaking apart and flying apart, and then um, the focus uh, goes out to memoring and memoring roars. And in the midst of that shot, just to not make it look like there's just a bunch of individual pieces, because I mean, when I started, this didn't look like a whole a wall here. It was just pieces of wall that just scattered out, so there'll be like huge fire and smoke in the shot as well. I'll put it in, I'll insert in there digitally uh, when I have time later. But anyway. 
let's uh, get to since okay so this shot's done so we're done animating this shot and this is the first shot we are going to see most likely most most possibly this, this is what I have in mind um, this is the first shot we're gonna see in season two so basically we're gonna see memoring explode a wall that that's how epic a season two is going to start just to give you guys an example so let's move back to the computer and see let's get out of this and get out this camera and get to this okay so right here is the castle and in this position this is this is where my camera is currently looking out and I, as you can see I've kind of expanded the field a little bit to have the dragon like right around there and so turned around this is what this Helm's Deep like castle looks like and personally this would be really fun to play just a regular hero escape battle on it and sometime in the future I mean I have this stuff saved um, for, for your, my the virtual escape maps and how to build this so I can I can anytime later um, build it again when I have time to do that but that just overall just a fun set and if anybody who's watching this on Twitch or YouTube, if you want to email me or send me a message via Twitch or YouTube, um, if you want the schematics or you know on how to build uh, such a set or any of the sets that I've shown through my live streams that I've built via Virtual Escape, by all, by all means please email me if I can find a way to send that send the uh, diagrams uh, to you guys. I will, so you guys can enjoy these battlefields as well. So with that, we are done with this live stream for today. And hopefully within a week or two, we'll do either another live stream building on Virtual Escape or doing some more stop motion animation with, on another epic battle scene. So I Hunt Monsters, thank you for commenting. And like I said, email me. Um, and we'll see what we can do about uh, getting some uh, more music uh, for for Tales of Ahala, that sounds that sounds like fun, and um, we'll we'll go from there. And uh, anyone else has any other questions via Twitch or YouTube, by all means, uh, comment in the comment comment section below. I am Ryan, creator of Tales of Ahala, and if you want to go see Tales of Ahala season one is already on YouTube, just go to the YouTube search bar and type Tales of Ahala and you'll see it. So. I will see all you guys later until the next Twitch livestream.